Have you recently noticed some paint chipping along the side of your house and you tried to remember when was the last time you painted the exterior of your home? Maybe you've never painted your house before. So you think, how much is this gonna cost me to paint my house? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what goes into the total cost to paint your home and what will be included in your job so you can avoid any confusion or surprises in your project. Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to the Home Solutions Channel. In the painting industry, some contractors are dishonest and take the easy way around things to save them money while charging you more. We want to combat that and inform you of the factors that will influence the cost of an exterior paint job on your home so you know what to expect when you're looking to get that exterior redone. Today I'm going to tell you what an exterior paint job should cost and what five factors could influence those costs. Before we jump in, if you want more great content like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can be informed and ready for your next home renovation project. So let's jump right into the question you clicked on this video to have answered. What will an exterior paint job cost you? An exterior paint job can run anywhere from three to $6,000 as a starting point for 12 squares of siding, soffit, and fascia. Now a square refers to a 10 by 10 area or 100 square feet. So 12 squares would roughly be 1,200 square feet. The cost to get your exterior painted, however, varies and ranges depending on many factors. So let's find out what those factors are. Square footage of the project. Like many home remodeling projects, the size of the project is the greatest influence on the total cost. For painting, the square footage and price are calculated by how many squares are a part of the project. A part of the project's total square footage is not just the sidewall. Many quality painting contractors can and will paint other exterior surfaces along with the siding. Of course, this will add to the total cost of the project as it adds square footage. The most common additional surface to paint is the soffit and fascia of your home. Soffit is the siding underneath the roofing that runs parallel to the ground, and the fascia is that front-facing part of the roofing trim. As the soffit and fascia are closely connected to the siding, they're commonly painted along with it. Other popular surfaces that can be painted are porch and patio ceilings, garage doors. These surfaces are calculated the same as the soffit and fascia converted into squares. To sum all that information up, the more square footage and areas you want to have painted, obviously the more your project is going to cost. Second factor, degree of difficulty of the area. While the square footage of the project will influence the cost, the most, the difficulty of the area to be painted will also add to the total. Difficult areas can be defined as anywhere where extra labor is required. For example, extremely high areas or small nooks and crannies that are hard to reach will add to the degree of difficulty. This adds to the cost because of the labor required to paint these areas and maybe extra scaffolding and things like that. We want to make sure everyone is safe on the job site so it oftentimes takes more equipment and time in order to get that done right. Third type and condition of the area. The worse the condition of the existing siding, soffit, or fascia, the more it will cost to paint over or possibly repair. The condition of the siding could include any rot in the wood or any crumbling found in stucco siding. These are both common conditions that will need to be repaired before painting. If a painting contractor cannot handle repairs, you'll have to hire another contractor to do that as well. Dealing with another contractor leaves more room for the possibility of error and mistakes, so it's best to ask a prospective contractor what they can repair, especially if you know you have these issues going on. Another factor is the types of siding. Some types of siding require special treatment in order for the paint job to come out properly. For example, wood is an incredibly porous material. The older the wood is, the more it will absorb the paint and primer. This means that more coats of paint will need to be applied to get the color to the correct shade and paint to the correct mill or thickness. The more coats and more paint required to complete the project, obviously the more it's gonna to add to your costs. Fourth, the color of the paint. Choosing your paint color may not have been a factor you would think can impact the cost of your painting project. However, darker paint colors like blacks and blues will cost more than lighter paint colors. This is because they absorb light rather than reflect it. The more light exposure and absorption the paint takes on, the quicker it will fade in the long run. Darker paint colors require more coats in order to get them to their true color. Sometimes the primer will also have to be tinted to aid the coloration of the paint. 
All this means extra labor required, which means extra costs to your project. Fifthly, the quality of the contractor. While the above factors deal directly with either the paint or the area to be painted, the quality of the contractor will greatly affect the total cost of your painting project. A low quality, least expensive painter will cost significantly less than a high quality, high dollar contractor. However, what you pay for your project is typically what you get. Most of us have learned that in life. You cannot expect to get the highest quality paint job when you pay for the least expensive option out there. A quality contractor should caulk all seams and areas where boards come together before painting. This ensures a proper seal around all seams to protect against water or pest infestation. The type of paint a contractor uses will also affect the cost. If a painter uses low quality watered down paint, your project is gonna cost less, but it's not gonna last as long. The application of the paint also helps define a quality painting contractor. Using a sprayer helps to evenly distribute the paint as opposed to a roller. This is because a roller will disperse and pick up paint as it rolls back and forth, possibly causing uneven application. A paint must also be applied to the proper thickness. If the painter does not apply the proper amount of coats, then your project is not gonna come out the way that you wanted it to look. The warranty a contractor offers also affects the cost of your project. If a painter only offers a two-year labor warranty or sometimes no warranty at all, your project's not gonna cost as much as a contractor that offers a lifetime labor and product warranty. So to summarize, what will you pay for your exterior paint project? Remember, the biggest factors that are gonna influence the cost of an exterior paint job are total square footage of the project, the degree of difficulty of the area, type and condition of the area, paint color, and the quality of the contractor. On top of that, your goals for your project will really help determine what you're gonna to look to spend. If you want a paint job that will last for years against external forces like sun, rain, and snow, then you will look to have to invest a little more for a high quality contractor. If you feel you're ready to talk to a professional about your exterior painting job, make sure you check out the article link below so you can know what to expect and how you can prepare for an exterior painting consultation. Thank you for stopping by the Home Solutions channel, where we just want to give you the look you love coming home to. If you want more Home Solutions, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. You can also leave a comment below if you have any other questions. We'd love to hear from you.